Today everybody in this video we're going to be talking about the different grips you're going to be using on your AR10, AR15 platform. I have several viewers from the Spanish channel asking me why I wasn't doing the C clamps on my AR15 when I was doing my shootings, just demonstration, hanging out with friends at the range. Uh, the C clamps mostly come from a lot of uh, YouTubers, a lot of uh, ex Navy SEALs, ex Rangers, ex Special Forces, Green Beret, you name them all. The thing that the C clamps was designed for pretty much is because all those forces they use exclusively, among other weapons, they really use you and abuse the Mark 18. The Mark 18 is a rifle that only has 10.5 barrel length it is very short compared to the regular civilian 14.5 and longer the mark 18 uses a gas system that is a carbine gas system which is a lot more jumpy than the mid-length gas system and also the rifle length gas system that a lot of the civilian rifle and are made for i'm always trying to recommend people to stay away from the carbine gas system because it's, it's it is yes it is way more reliable but for civilian uses you don't need that kind of reliability to be realistic, be honest with yourself. In order to stabilize, they are trained to use the so-called C-clamp. And yes, the C-clamp, it makes your shots more accurate. However, when you're using with civilian rifles, longer, heavier, it will uh, induce fatigue. The type of clamp that you're going to be doing is going to be based also on the length of your rail, your hangar. This is a 14.5, that's what I'm always trying to recommend to people. It's perfectly legal as long as they are pinned and welded. So the total length of the barrel is going to be 16. Uh, this is a 14.5, I believe this is a 14 a rail length. But in this case, this is mine, this is my wife over here. If this is a, uh, this is a 14.5 as well, pin and welded. And this is a 10.5 rail or hangar. If you can tell, this is exclusively the length of the barrel of the Mark 18. It lacks a lot of uh, muscle velocity, over 300 meters. They aren't really that good. I mean, some people can make shots farther than that, but the average, they're pretty much used for close quarter battlefield. Navy SEALs, Rangers, Green Berets, uh, Night Stalkers, everybody, all those super special forces, elite forces, they're pretty much used to really close a uh, uh, combat battlefield. I'm talking about uh, submarines, taking over oil platform uh, hits order you know everybody know about that the navy seal when they were involved with the rescue of that uh, american doctor that's what they were carrying they really burst all over they're doing their sea clan they're taking very precise shots with really short rifles for the civilians the moment you're trying to do your sea clamp all over your house you will struggle with the attachment that you will have you will struggle with fatigue because the majority of the civilian we do not work out as much as special forces do for a living. The majority of the civilian, you have to keep in mind that even my 60 years old grandma, she might be carrying an AR-15 to defend her home in case she, be, uh, she might feel invaded or threatened. So you have, to, you have to keep in mind as well physical capabilities, age limitations. Just keep in mind because you follow the c clamp trend, I would highly recommend each one of you to uh, wrap around anything that adds up to three pounds into your rifle make sure it's clear so you don't have anything inside your rifle and then try to clear your homes doing the so-called tactical c clamp for everybody and you will see how easy you will uh, start feeling a fatigue not to mention if you want to add a suppressor to prevent blowing your ears inside taking shot inside a confined space to resume this video make sure the trends that you follow from every uh, youtube funnel, uh, channel a lot of them are very instructive they're very interesting they have some real creditable backgrounds and they're excellent i even follow a few of them but make sure it, it applies to your application for home defense scenario for hog hunting you do not to be doing all the time the so-called uh, c clamp i mean what i recommend to people just grab it over here in front of the map wheel and you can take some good shots unless you're going over 150 meters or something then i would recommend to do the c clamp but for home defense for range practice you don't have to be the guy doing the c clamp or switching position when doing your funny thing it's just hold it over here it will prevent fatigue and you will be you will have more practice on your range day you won't be so tired it's just the way things are this is a 14.5 as well this is a 
10.5, this would be Navy SEALs, Federal, all those special forces. Yes, they do that, but they have way shorter, way more jumpy rifles than civilians. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.